Okay, the adverse childhood experiences quiz. I have never really taken a deep dive on this, although pretty much everything that I study is centered around this. And the reason that I've never really taken a deep dive into it is because there is so much information to go around it that this video could be forever long. So we'll see how many parts this turns into. So for starters, the quiz was built to identify how many adverse childhood experiences or ACEs someone has experienced before they were 18. And not read that quiz to you on here because the wording in there would get me kicked off of this platform. The quiz is 10 questions long and centered around three main categories of adversity, abuse, household challenges, and neglect. At the end of the quiz, you count up how many you said yes to, and that's your ACEs score. Now, why do we care about our ACE score? Because the higher your score is on this quiz, the more likely you are to develop health risks for the future. Now the health risks that are associated with high A scores are so prevalent that there are actually doctors who will use this quiz as a screening tool. And if you want more information about that, I highly recommend the book, The Deepest Well. Dr. Nadine Burke Harris is a huge advocate for using this as a screening tool to help diagnose and make plans for patients in clinics. Now, if you decide to go back and take the quiz, after reading the questions, keep in mind that 67% of the population has an ACE score of one or more. Now, talk about understanding the behavior patterns in people. Let's talk about the health risks next. What questions do you have for me? 